Hello, good, good afternoon, Friday. everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, so, Luke, please, uh, can we start? It's it's already four. Yes, we can start. We can start now, Joe. Yes, we can go ahead. We can start. Okay. So, once again, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. So we get to start the session of FCMB, which is going to be anchored by uh, Mr. Lu, which is going to be Please kindly mute yourselves, please. We have a ground rule for this session. <laughs> Kindly mute yourselves, please. Oh, we have a ground rule for this session. Oh, yeah, you can be doing something. Please mute yourself, Mr. Mark. Mute yourselves, please. Thank you. So this session is purposely for FCMB loan session which Ms. Tolu is going to take us through and enlighten us on, on how to apply for the loan and the do's and don'ts of the loan. And also the payback. And then we have, we're going to have another session for questions and answers, whereby if you have any question, you for the question, you type in the question, and then we read out the question to her for her to answer. So we have a short agenda for this session. Uh, the first one is brief introduction by Ms. Tulu from FCMB. Tulu, over to you, please. Thank you. Mr. Bobo Benson, please mute yourself, please. Thank you. So, Lou, we are waiting for you. Mr. Lou, we are waiting for you, please. Kindly unmute, unmute yourself. Hello, Abubakar. Juliet, is she here with us? Uh, please, as we await uh, our speaker for this session, please, we can start dropping your questions if you have any in the chat box, please. Okay. To interrupt Mr. Abu Bakar. I just spoke to her now. She said she's having a bit of a challenge with her Zoom. So I asked oh, her to log okay. down. So okay. Have... okay, it's okay. So please pardon us for the short delay, please. Our speaker is having a network challenge, but she'll soon be with us. Thank you. Please, we can start dropping your messages, your questions in the chat box. After she uh, run up the introduction, then we're going to have questions and answer session. So please keep dropping your questions in the chat box. We're going to read out all your messages and questions after the sensitization.
Yes, I can see that some questions are dropping. So keep posting your questions. We're going to read out all your questions. So I can see Mr. Samson question and also Efitemi Tope, legendary. I can see your question. So please keep posting your questions in the chat box. Yes, our speaker will soon be with us. He's having network challenge. Please exercise patience. She will soon be with us. So now I can make anybody a post. No, I just joined them. Mr. Samson, please mute yourself, please. Hello, everyone. She will join us shortly. I just spoke to her again. Kindly be patient. Thank you. Now, my end is at the Yes, Tolu, you're welcome. I can see you're back. Yes, I'm back. Um, good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm sorry, I had a very minor network glitch that trimmed me out. So, so sorry. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Please kindly mute yourselves, please. The speaker is here with us. Mute yourself. We're about to start, please. Hello, Tolu. You can go on now. Okay. All right. Um, once again, good evening, everyone. My name is Tolu Oyedemi. I am the project coordinator for the SCMB and MasterCard Foundation Partnership um, project that easily lifts. Um, because, you know, due to FCMB's outstanding performance in supporting individuals and MSMEs over the years, we can boldly say that we have supported more than 300,000 businesses due to this outstanding performance. The MasterCard Foundation um, has partnered with us to um, offer loan support to individuals and other MSMEs. Okay, so what do you mean by Easy Lift? Easy Lift uh, was coined from the major objective this project is set to achieve 
the foundation in collaboration with FCNB, you know, is set to lift people out of poverty. We are set to impact lives. And we are also set to strengthen businesses, especially those businesses that were affected by, you know, the COVID-19 pand COVID pandemic. Uh, we know that the COVID-19 uh, pandemic had a major, took a turn on businesses and lives generally. Some businesses, you know, went down, they went under, while some businesses are even struggling to stay afloat. Also, the project is focused on assisting the vulnerable members of the society, which is inclined to women and youth within the society. We are targeting to support 90% women and 70% youth. So this Easy Niche project is a five years project, which started last year, um, the span of those five years, to support people. And um, uh, we have some key critical sectors that we're looking at. Number one is the agricultural sector. We all know the importance of agriculture in our economy, uh, digital economy as well is the second um, sector that we'll be supporting. Thirdly, the creative industry. The creative industry is another key segment that we're focusing on on this project. Thirdly, we have the education and some other minor um, segments that we'll be focusing on. So four key segments are the agri agriculture, um, digital economy, education, and then the creative industry. Okay, so uh, not, to wait, not to waste our time, uh, to apply for this loan. Okay, sorry, I didn't tell you the exact loan, the, the exact support that FCMB is offering. FCMB is going to be offering a 9% loan support to individuals and MSMEs. Not a 9% per month, but a 9% per annum loan. You agree with me that um, this loan support is, should be one of the cheapest out there because this um, intervention is... Um, impact driven. We are aimed at um, impacting lives. As I said earlier, we are aimed at helping people. Sorry, someone said you can't hear me. Can we hear? Can you hear me, please? If the audio please can audio. be louder, be yes, great. we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Please speak okay. louder a little bit. Okay. Okay. Thank hear. you very much. So as I was saying, um, the, the project is aimed at offering 9% loan support to individuals and MSMEs within these key sectors, but not limited to these key sectors. Okay, so how do we go about this? One is the uh, product has been has been flowing natural, sorry, manually, but now we've digitized the uh, process and customers can apply for loans online. We have an easy lift loan application portal, which I'm going to be sharing with us shortly. I'm going to share the link in the chat box and then I'm going to share my screen um, and take us through um, the loan application process. Please, if you are talking, you're on mute. All right. So I just shared the, the loan application portal, the link, the URL in the chat. I'm also going to share my screen right away. Please confirm you can see my screen. 
Yes, you can see. All right. So this is the Easy Lifts loan application portal. You know, it states here that you can access up to 500,000 loan as a small business owner. And it's a 9%, is at 9% interest rate. Uh, okay, so this is what it looks like. But as a new user, you would have to register on the portal before you can be able to make a loan request. So here we have. Okay, so because I'm logged in, let me log out and start afresh. All right, um, so as a new user, you have to register. And for you to register, you need to provide some important information about you, which includes your first name, your middle name, your last name, your phone number, your email address, and then your password. And here we have the password tips, which says that your password character must be, must be less than eight characters and must have a, one uppercase, one lowercase, one symbol, one number. And also here you have to confirm your password and you register. So because I am already registered on the platform, I wouldn't need to register again. So let's assume that as a new user, you have registered and you need to log in. So here we are, we'll log in. And here will you provide your login information, which is your email address and then your password. So let me put my email address here. Okay, so for each login, for each login as a registered user, you will need to input your verification code. The verification code will be forwarded to the phone number that was used at the point of registration. So let me check my phone now. I'm sure the, the verification code has dropped. Okay, there it is. 048125. Yeah. So the reason for this is to provide some sort of um, authentication to be sure that the um, the profile being um, logged into is belongs to the user to the exact user. So, um, um, uh, yeah. Start a long request. All right. So this is this is our application portal. This is what the interface looks like. Number one is you have the referral menu. The referral menu gives the uh, the applicant to be able to choose or from what um, institution they are from. Here you see Tafta here. So if you are from Tafta, from EDC, so not EDC, if you are FCMB, easy again because this loan is available to in, in, in large um, customer base, so you can be able to you know, select your own institution. Afterwards, you come here, apply as, you can apply as the initiator for yourself or on someone's behalf. And then you have the, you select the loan type. One is you can, it can be an individual loan or a business support loan. Or a business support loan. That means you can apply individually or you can apply for your business. And here you input the amount of um, loan you're requesting. That is what will be here. On, this, on the next menu here is your BVN. You enter your BVN and then you enter your WhatsApp number as well. If you are an FCMB account holder, you state it there. Are you an FCMB account holder? Yes, or oh, I'm not, no. And then if you are, you provide your FCMB account number here. And then you, your type of house, if it's rented, it's a mortgaged house, it's your own house, you state it here. Um, identification type, these are the, these are the um, identification, means of identification that are acceptable, that your national ID card, your voter's card, your international password or your driving license. And then you also put the identification number here, your marital status, of course, your number of children, your number of dependents, and then your state of residence. 
you also provide the data. There's a drop down. You just select it from from Cross River. Select Cross River. You put in the local government area, and then your city, the your exact residential address, and then a brief description of the address that includes a landmark. Okay, so here is your education, your education status. Um, if if you are a secondary school older, you put it there. If you're a bachelor's degree older, you also include it. You select, and then your employment type. If you're unemployed, if you're self-employed or wage employment, you select. Your employment status, if you're unemployed, you're employed. And then your physical disability status, disabled or non-disabled, you also include it. And here, um, you need to upload some documents, which is the ID card, your passport, your utility bill, and six months bank statements. So these this, um, documents are extremely important, are very, very important to proceed with any loan request at all on the portal. So here we need to know who we are interfacing with, who exactly you want to give the loan to, the customer will need to provide their ID card here. And then, of course, you know, as I said earlier, there are four means of um, identification um, type that are, assess that are acceptable. That's the driving license, the NIN, the international passport, and, uh, and um, the voter's card. So those four are the only acceptable means of identification here. And then the customer will also upload their passport. Also here, the customer will upload their utility bill. The customer will upload their utility bill here. And the last but not the least here is a six month bank statement. So let me state it here that it may and may not be FCMB bank statement. So if the customer hasn't been banking with FCMB before application, they can upload the bank statement from any of their accounts or any bank they've been using. They can upload here. And if there are customers that are actively using their FCMB bank account, all well and good, they can have it here uploaded. So it has to be a six month bank statement, which is to you know, give us a, a, a sneak peek into the customer's transactions, the activity in their accounts parallel to their loan request on the portal. Okay, so this segment is for the business loan. So if it's a business loan and not an individual loan, these are the very important information that the business owner will need to provide the business sector, if it's for agricultural, creative, if it's education, you need to tell us the sector that you are into. And then you also need to tell us your business size, if it's a micro business, if it's a medium business, if it's a large business, you state it here, your business name, your business registration number, because we know that you must have registered your business. So you need to give us your business registration number for us to do some sort of verification from our end. Then years in business, the purpose of your loan, the nature of your business and your business address, all these has to be provided. So once all this has been done, at this um, stage of the request, the customer will also need to have a guarantor and also do well to provide the information of the guarantor. So the, you provide the BVN of the guarantor and then also in, upload an ident identification, uh, a means of identification for the guarantor you state the identification number, the marital status, their utility bill, their ID card, and also their passport. And the last but not the least here is their residential address. You need to state it here. So once all of this has been done, the customer's information um, pre-uploaded and the customer's information all provided in the menu and the guarantor's information provided as well, the customer will submit the request. So once the request is submitted, before it gets to FCMB to start processing, a, a verification message will be forwarded to the guarantor just to inform the guarantor that such so -so a person is, has provided your information and they want you to guarantee a loan for them. And then the guarantor would be able to respond to say, yes, I'm in agreement to that, or no, or may not even respond at all. Not responding means that the guarantor is not accepting to be able to guarantee the loan request, but replying the mail, the, the text message, sorry, the customer, the, the guarantor has confirmed that he or she is available to guarantee the loan. So once that has been done, the request comes to FCMB for processing. And then 
would, would um, spool all this information provided with the necessary supporting documents that have been uploaded. And then we review from our end. We'll start reviewing, we'll you know, check your accounts, we'll check if you are, if you're credit worthy, if you do not have existing loan requests in, in other financial institutions, because we know that you know, having multiple um, loan running may affect your repayment on our um, loan facility. So these are the things we'll check. We we'll also check if you are credit worthy. We we'll check if your BVN is not blacklisted. You know, if we are, if you are, a, if you are an authenticated um, customer that can access this facility with this boss, and this boss might takes between seven to fourteen working days. So once all of this has been provided and your request reviewed. We would call you. We have a call center team that will call you and also call the guarantor to inform to reconfirm with the guarantor again. So once all of this has been done, we would engage you on the amount of loan we think you can access. So we have customers that would, you know, input that they want 10 million naira, and they will notice that even in their account, they don't even have up to that. So these are the things that will factor in if you notice that if you, if you tell us you want a 10 million naira loan, and from the review in your account, we see that you can only you know access 300,000 naira would we'll call you to inform you that you can only access 300,000 naira should we go on with your request if you confirm that we should go on with your request we'll go on with your request and we'll disperse into your account some customers may say 300,000 naira may be too small for them but we are trying to be on the safer side as well as consider the um, consider the customer as well because we don't want a situation whereby the customer will not be able to repay so these are the things we consider before we do our disbursement. Once again, the turnaround time for each request takes between seven to 14 working days. Thank you. So let me, let me stop here for now and let me see if I have questions from the audience. Thank you very much to you for this wonderful presentation. We're really grateful. Thank you. Uh, so I think uh, this is the questions and answers session. So let me start scrolling the chat box for the questions okay. uh, from the participants. Uh, so the first question comes from Mr. Mark. He said, uh, what are the conditions and requirements for the loan? The maximum, uh, the maximum amount that can be given, can we enjoy any Moritarium, if any, what's the duration? Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so um, the maximum limit for this loan for individual is 500,000, while for business, it is a million naira. Um, if the customer has a, a project or has um, a you know a valid business to get this loan for we can this is not is not cast on stone it can be reviewed the loan limits can be reviewed based on the loan purpose and then the amount being um, applied for also talking about moratorium we can give up to one 30 days moratorium on the loan request also dependent on the loan purpose as well so these are you know, dependent on what you want to use the loan for and how much you want to access. So these are the things that we would um, have to consider before we can communicate an exact um, loan limit or moratorium time. I hope that suffice. That answers correctly, thank you. Uh, so let's move to the next question. Uh, the next question is coming from Olusola Femi. How soon can the loan be processed and how does the payback work? What's the limit for those with Sweden registered company? Okay, so thank you. Um, talking about how, how soon can a loan be assessed? As I mentioned, the loan processing takes between seven to 14 working days. Most times it even takes earlier than seven days. Customers get feedback even before seven days elapses, seven working days elapses. So but at, at, at worst, we put it at seven to 14 working days. But we know that within before the before those days elapse, we would contact the customer. Then for business, business is a million naira. Business is a million naira. And then um, um I think I, the, can you please repeat the third question? 
the limit for those with Smader registered company? Okay, so it is a million naira, but as I said earlier, the limit can be reviewed based on the loan purpose. So if you intend to, if you are a medium scale enterprise and you need, you need, you know, to access more funds, we can have you on board, discuss with you, and then you discuss your purpose with us, and then we can increase it, you know, more than one million naira. But for normal um, businesses, business loans, we place that a million naira. Thank you. So let's move to the next question. Uh, the next question comes from Yaakob Musa Balarabi. Uh, what of those that don't have account with FCMB? And secondly, can we obtain uh, can we can we obtain loan from any of FCMB branch? And the third question says. Uh, the third question says, my, my guarantor said she can only put her BVN in the bank, not online. Please, what can I do? The fourth question says, can we obtain up to 1 million from the bank without collateral as kickstart? Should I repeat myself to Lou? I'm actually trying to jot down the questions. Okay, so the first question says if the customer doesn't have an FCMB account, what happens, right? Okay, yes. So on this on this uh, project and platform, yes, customers without FCMB accounts can access loans. You can apply for it, but before the disbursement of this loan, you have to open FCMB accounts because the disbursement will be made into your account. But if you do not have an FCMB account before accessing it, fine. You can provide those with the statement of account of the other banks that you have, what disbursement will be made into your FCMB account. So then um, can you access the loan from any FCMB branch? Yes, you can, you can, but that will be for, that processor will be manual. You may be asked to fill some forms, you may be asked to provide some documents like we're requesting. Yes, all that will also be asked of you in the branch. But yes, it is available in the branch as well. You can visit any FCMB branch to apply for it. Um, the third question is about the guarantor. Who is reluctant to provide a BVN online? So that's a very tricky question. But um, I think you have to be able to convince the guarantor that this is a this is a bank loan and um, it's not some random online um loan application um app this is fcmb sponsored and the information is safe data privacy is very very important to us our customers data privacy is very key we do not share any data with anyone so all the information captured here is within the confines of fcmb so your guarantor should be confident and free enough to be able to provide their bvn on the loan portal data privacy is key as i said earlier so once the information is provided, the your um, guarantor's BVN is provided on the portal, the confirmation text message is forwarded to the phone number linked to the BVN, to the BVN of the guarantor. So this is where the, the, the BVN comes in. The phone number is sent, sorry, the verification text message will be forwarded to the phone number linked to the BVN of the guarantor, not just any random phone number. So even when a guarantor provides their BVN, but they don't have access to the number on that BVN, they may not be able to verify the loan request. So I forgot to mention that they may not be able to verify the, the loan request. So they have to provide a phone number linked to their BVN that they can access. So that is where the importance of this BVN even comes in. So, yeah. Then um, the last question that I got here is, can they obtain up to 5 million Naira, right? Up to one million, one million. One million in the error. bank without collateral. Yes, this loan, the easy lift loan is without collateral. No collateral. We do not collect collateral from customers. No collateral at all. All we need to do, all you need to do as a customer is provide us the important information that you need to provide us. We will do the necessary KYC that we are meant to do. 
but we do not collect collateral. So yes, you can obtain up to 1 million naira without collateral on this project, on the easy lift um, um, loan. Yes, you can access up to 1 million naira without collateral. Thank you, Obote. Okay, thank you, Tolu. Uh, the next question comes from Youngstar. He said, please, can we have someone's number from the bank which we can put through the process? Yes, yes, you can. I will drop my phone number in the chat, but if that's allowed, I can drop it here. You can always reach out to me. Uh, but, but, but I think uh, we have uh, our learning centers in the various states, Kano, Ogun, and Lagos State. I think uh, any of a student that wants to have this loan can directly go to our learning center or call our center managers. Their phone numbers are every, and everything are in our uh, students' groups. So you can always forward your questions and they're always there to assist you. So we have learning support officers and I think some of them are part of this session. So maybe you we'll ask them to drop their contacts here. If you have any question related to this, we can always, always reach out to them. Thank you. So let's move to the next question. Uh, okay, the next question comes from Martin. Please, for those who have not been using FCMB, you hope they can also apply. I think this question has already been answered for us to save time. Mr. Martin, you can apply even if you're not using FCMB. Mr. Tolu, am I right? You're spot on, yes. Yes, so I think we have to save time. Uh, okay, the next question is, I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling to the questions. So the link uh, for this platform is already been posted in the chat box. So for those of you that are interested in trying to apply on their own, they can have the link copied in one place and then. Uh -huh. The next question comes from an anonymous person using iPhone. Can we get access to the loan if you don't have FCMB account? This question has been answered. You can apply, but before the disbursement, you have to open an account with FCMB. Uh, okay, the next question is from that same anonymous iPhone. I tried registering, but showing that my number has been used. Okay, so uh, in that case, it is possible you have registered previously and then you're trying to register again. Um, each registration is, um, each phone number or email address provided is, um, can be identified to one registration. So if you try to register again with the same detail, the system will not allow you. So I think that was what happened. But in the meantime, um, if you're finding it very hard to um, register, you can send us an email at easylife at fcmb.com. We'll rectify that. Thank you, Tolu. So let's move to the next question. Uh, okay, that same person is still saying showing server error. Okay, the next question comes from Mr. Mark. He said, is the interest paid monthly or annually? The interest is paid monthly. Thank you. Uh, okay, the next question comes from Mr. Douglas. Bank statements for any bank. So you mean, can you use any bank statement? Yes, any bank statements, any bank that you're currently using, you can present the bank, the statement from such banks to us. But it has to be six months. Okay, thank you, Tolu. Uh, the next question comes from Abraham. Statement of account need more clarity. The question is not clear. Mm, 
Mr. Abraham, you just need a six month statement of account and it could be any bank. It doesn't have to be FCMB bank statement. The next question is from Shakira. The bank statement, is it from a savings account or current account? So Lou, which type of account? Hi, Tulu, are you there? So I think we missed uh, our presenter, but I think I can answer this question. So the bank statement, I think it could be savings account or current account. So you can use any of the accounts. No, Tulu is here, he's back with us. So that I answer the question. Okay, sorry, the network threw me out. Okay, so sorry. So the question says the bank statement, is it from a savings account or current account? Oh, it can be from either of the account. Either okay. savings or Thank current. You. Any account you're running, you can provide the statements for such account. Okay. So the next question comes from Mr. Bamiwo Adiola. I just registered and opened a business account. So it's not up to six months. What can I do? Okay, so in that case, the customer may want to apply as an individual using their personal bank account statement or wait till the, the account has you know, existed for a minimum of six months before they can apply because we are actually very um, stern with the six, six months um, um, bank statement because it gives us an insight into the history of the customer, the transaction history of the customer. So is it that the customer applies as an individual or the customer waits till the account is in operation for a minimum of six months? Thank you, Toby. Uh, the next question comes from Mr. Samuel. What if you don't have a business registration number? then you apply as an individual. Thank you, Toby. Uh, the next question comes from Mr. Umar Abdullahi. He said, kindly send these details to our emails. Uh, Mr. Umar, I think we have made a provision for you in Kanu, if you are in Kanu. We have two centers in Kanu, Saadi Tirimi and Kanu State Polytechnic. So if you want to apply, you can go to one of the centers and we can help you with the application process. Thank you. Okay, the next question says, I can't register. But I think it's that same person that uses his phone number. Maybe he has already applied. So the system holds his phone number. The next question comes from Sonia. Please don't know if I'm the only one, I can't hear anything. Okay, maybe it's your audio. Check your speaker, please. Moving to the next question. Okay, the next question comes from Mr. Hillary. What of someone who doesn't have an account with FCMB and wants to join as a new customer? I think that has already been answered. If you do yes. not have an FCMB account, there's no problem. You can apply with your existing bank, your existing bank account, and then before this bus spent, you open an FCMB account. Thank you, Tobi. The yeah. next question is come from Jali06. Can I repay the money before target reach? Yes, customers are free to liquidate their loan before the end of the tenure. Yes, you can. Thank you. The next question is from Mr. Martin Mary. What if I have my ID number, but don't have my ID card? How can I proceed with my application? Example, I have my BBN number, but not the slip.
that question is tricky, Abubakar. <laughs> it's a bit tricky. I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> so what this person is trying to ask is, uh, she has the card number or ID number, but she doesn't have the hard copy of the ID. So how do we validate that the ID number is original? Exactly. So Martin, you have to get your ID. We need the hard copy for you to upload for them to see that that card and number belongs to you. Thank you. Okay, the next question is from Adiru Jutayo. How long is the repayment option? Okay, so um, the long tenure spans between six months to 24, between six months to 24 months, depending on the loan amount offered. So it's okay. good. Either, either be six months, it can be 12 months, can be 18 months, can be 24 months. Okay, thank you, Toby. The next question is from Akin Tundi Kesman. What if I don't have bank statement? The bank statement is very important, <laughs> extremely important. I think I've mentioned the, the use. We need to be able to have a picture into what the customer is capable of you know, um, applying for and capable of paying back. So that is our own way of measuring it. So it is extremely important. Thank you, Tobi. The next question is from Fatuki Abdelrazak. Are there loan charges at the point of disbursement? Okay, so yeah, there are no charges. The only charge here is um, we have a one percent insurance fee and one percent management fee. That's all. Those are the only charges that will be incurred. Thank you. The yes. next question is from Mr. Samuel. What if you don't have a business registration number? What other things can you use to get the loan? then the customer would need to apply as an individual. Okay, thank you, Toby. Okay, the next question is from iPhone. Can I get loan below 1 million Naira? I think this question has been answered. It starts from 500,000, right? So, Lou? 500,000 is the limit for individual and then a million Naira for, for business. Okay. So the next question comes from if a Temi, an email was sent to my guarantor, but the email attached to the BVN is not accessible again by the guarantor because he, he has forgotten the email. What is the next suggestion, please? Okay, so um, in this case, the, the guarantor would need to visit his or branch to update their information on their BVN. Or alternatively, the customer will need to reapply again on the platform, providing another guarantor. Thank you. Next yes. question is from Ebuka. How does repayment work? Is it after a year or is it monthly? It's a monthly repayment. Monthly repayment all through the tenure of the loan. So if it's six months, you repay within the six months. If it's a year, every month within the 12 months. So it's a monthly repayment. Thank you. The next question is from Adiro Jutayo. Will I need to go to the office physically after online registration? No, you don't need to. Um, no, no. And uh, the online process, it's purely online. Um, the branch team will not be able to review your request if you visit any branch. So once you've registered online, it is purely online. So the team that will handle it online is different from the team that will handle it in branch. So you can either do one, yeah, yeah. either go to the branch or I got one. By online. Fatoki Abdelrazak, please mute yourself. Fatoki Abdelrazak, please mute yourself. Kindly mute yourself. Okay. Thank you. 
So the next question, please, what's the tenure of the repayment for individual loan? Individual loan is within six months to, to 24 months. Thank you. Uh, the next question is from Ebuka. The 9%, is it going to be paid at the end of the year or during each installment payment? Okay, so the 9% will be factored into each of the installment um, payments. So yeah, it's, it will be deducted every month during the repayment. So the next question, how long is the repayment tenure like for business loan? Also between six to 24 months. Okay, so it's the same duration. Yes, it is the same, it is the same duration. Thank you. The next question from Efitemi, but my guarantor do not receive the message. So um, one of the reasons why the guarantor may not receive the message is if the guarantor doesn't have access to the phone number linked to the BVN. I think I mentioned this earlier. Most, most customers, we always get that feedback from customers saying that their, their uh, guarantors didn't receive the text message. By the time we would, we would look for that, we realize that the, 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 sorry, the guarantor doesn't have access to the number linked to the BVN. That is 99% um, a chunk of our feedback. That is what we get. So we customers need to check with the guarantor if he or she still has the phone number you know, in check. So if that has been done and the phone, the I sorry, the text message is still not received, then we need to know, and you need to escalate to us. Thank you. The next question is from Sonia. Please, what is the link to apply for the loan? I think this link has already been posted in the chat box. So Sonia, please check the chat box. The link is there. Or else, please, Tolu, can you help us repost uh, the link again? Thank you. Okay, I will, I will drop the link in the chat box. Thank you. Now, uh, the next question is from Temi Dayo. Do you have an agent that can help to open FCMB account? Yes, yes, we have our easy agents everywhere in Lagos. Um, you should just let us know your location so we can assign you to the closest agent within that um, area. Maybe you'll drop in your location in the chat and then we'll assign an agent close to you to open your account. Thank you. So you tell me, Dayo, you can drop your location. Thank you. The next question comes from Jali06. Can we repay the money before the time ended? Yes, you can. You can. Can we repay the money before the time ended? So do the next question. Yes, I responded. You can, you can liquidate your loan before the end of the tenure. Yes, you can. Okay, thank you. The next question is how long is the repayment? This question has been answered. Mr. Adiru Jutayo, your question has been already answered. Okay, the next question, if you tell me, what if I don't have a CSE certificate? Can I still apply? This question has also been answered. You can apply as an individual. Thank you. Uh, the next question is from Temi Dayo. Do you have an agent that can help to open FCMB account? I think uh, you can drop your location so that Tudu can help with the nearest uh, FCMB account opening in your area. So the, uh, the link has, has, has been posted again. You can go through for those of you that are asking of the link. Uh, the next question is from Jali06. What long time loan take before this bus? How long will the loan take before disbursement to lose? Yes, the processing takes between seven to 14 working days. Thank you. 
Sonia said, please resend the link so that I can apply. The link will be sent again. The next person from Bamiwo Adiola. I just registered and opened a business account, so it's not up to six months. What can I do? Is the 9% monthly? It's a 9% per annum, not monthly, 9% per annum. Per annum, okay. Yes. But I thought you said the 9% will be sp splitted within the months, right? Within the monthly repayment. Yes. So oh. for example, now, if, um, let me, let me do an example. Okay. So if I'm taking a hundred thousand loan, so my interest, the interest rate on a hundred thousand loan is 9,000 era. So I'm going to be repaying more than 9,000, right? Then one hundred and nine thousand in twelve months. Abu Bakr, you there? Yes. Yes. So one hundred and nine thousand pay paid back. You know, shared within twelve months. I get you right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, the next question is from Efitemi. What if I don't have a CSE certificate? Can I still apply? This question has been answered. You can apply as an individual. Uh, uh, what if I don't have a CSE certificate? Can I still apply for a higher loan? So, Lou, without CSE certificate, no, you cannot apply. You can only you apply can for an individual loan if it doesn't have CAC. Yes. The next question is from Tony's iPhone. Anything 1 million is how many months duration? So you mean if you collect the loan of 1 million, in how, month, in how many months are you going to pay back? You said the loan duration is seven to uh, six months to 24 months, right? Yes, the loan duration is six to 24 months. So for a million naira loan, um, it is left for the operations team to decide but at least the customer should be, would be able to pay back within 12 months, that's a year. Thank you, Tolu. The next yes. question is from iPhone. What is the repayment process? Okay, so the re repayment process is, the repayment is going to be debited from the account every month. Every month at a specific um, date that is provided by the customer, the customer receives a debit for the repayment of the loan. So you don't need to go to any branch. You don't need to transfer to any account. Automatically, the debit comes to the account at, at, the, at, the, at the anniversary date of each month. So the process is that the customer is also aware that, okay, next week Tuesday, I have a repayment to make. Without any problem, without going anywhere, the debit comes into the customer's account for the repayment. So let me also state it here that um, the loan is not a loan that we can collect without paying back. We have to be able to complete repayment. So the bank will leverage on the existing recovery process to be able to recover all loans from customers. Thank you, Tuzi. Uh, yes. The next person is from Chinong Ye. Please, can you shed more light on how the interest will be paid? This has already been answered. Uh, but he has another question that says, uh, what happens when interest is omitted? When interest is omitted in a particular month, can it be paid in lump sum? Is the loan open to new business owners as well, to start ups? <sighs> Lou? Yes, Abu Bakr. Please, can you repeat the question again? Yes, okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the question back. 
Uh -huh. So what happens when interest is omitted in a particular month? Can it be paid? Did you say when interest is omitted or when repayment is omitted? Yes, when payment is omitted, the monthly okay, payment. payment. Oh, yes. okay. Okay, Maybe all right. When you skip um, the month without making payment, what happens? Mm, you, I'm sorry, but uh, repayment can't be skipped. Repayment can't be skipped. And that is why I mentioned earlier that um, this is not a loan that will not pay back. The bank will leverage on its current uh, recovery processes to recover um, loans. So even if that account is not funded, the bank has its way of you know, getting repayment from the other bank account. So uh, there's, no, there's, no, um, there's no space for uh, to carry over a loan repayment to the next month. No. Okay, thank you. So the next question says, is the loan open to new business owners as well? Of course, yes, the question has been answered. Uh, okay, the next question is from Osborne. Please, I missed the beginning. Could you send the recording to the group so perhaps those who missed might get the complete information? Yes, we're going to send the recording to the WhatsApp groups, the students' groups, so that uh, whoever missed the session can go through the recording again. Thank you. Uh, so let's move to the next question. The next question is from iPhone. What is the repayment plan for individual loan? What is the loan theme? Well, this question has already been answered. The repayment plan is between between six months to 24 months. Uh, the next question comes from Fatuki Abdurazak. Can we use OPE bank statement? Tolu? Can they use what? OPE bank statement. Yes, you can. You can. Thank you. The next can. question is from Fatuki. When is the loan repayment starts? Okay, so the loan repayment starts almost immediately, but depending on your loan purpose, you can be granted moratorium of up to 30 days. So some may be granted 14 days moratorium, more some seven, some 21 days, depending on your loan purpose. And you can have as high as 30 days. So, but the loan repayment is meant to start the following month. Thank you. But the maximum is 30 days. Yes, the maximum is 30 days. Okay, thank you. So let's move to the next question. Uh, Adija, good day, everyone. This is just a greeting. Uh, Junaid, Adija, I'm delighted to be here this evening. This is greetings. Let's move to the next question. Uh, the next question is from Yaakob Musa. Please, I have both CSC and SMEDA registration. Don't have business account. Please, am I to register as individual or, or as a business? Okay, if your business is registered, you can apply as a business. If your business is just is not registered with CSC and you don't do not have a CSC certificate, then you can apply as an individual. Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to locate the last question that I start. Sorry, please, I'm trying to locate the person. It's where I start. Mm 
be a uh, one person is see try to register now showing server error can i retry later please you can retry later that may be due to some minor network glitch um yeah. i've tried accessing the platform here and it's working from my end so you can just retry later Okay, and also so the check network. that the and also check that the um, network you're using has a very strong reception in that area. Okay, thank you, Tolu. The next question is from Odu Afemi. Does that mean the nine percent is from? Uh, does that mean that the nine percent is from the reducing balance every month? are you with us? Tolu, are you here with us? Yes, I'm here. Um, okay. The is on the six to nine percent um, per annum interest rate. It's not a reducing balance. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question is from uh, Samuel Obafemi. It's not sending code and bringing error. Maybe you have to try again later. Maybe you're having network issue. Yes, next, most possibly. Uh, yes, the next thing is from Bamiwo Adiola. 9% of 500,000 is 45,000. He's trying to make his calculations. The next question is from Temi Dayo. Eco CK2 is my location. I may not have time to visit the bank to open FCMB account. If I can send my soft copy, my soft copy documents to an agent and they can assist. Um, what is it now? Let me see. 200. 9% okay. of 200. So, sorry, sorry, Abu Bakr. All right, the person who just dropped his location, is he for the loan application or for account opening? Is for account opening, FCMB okay. account. Account opening, okay, because yeah. we also have to be very careful with um, sharing our information with people. So if it's for account opening, then we can get him, one of our field officers around that area to direct him to the closest agent to open an account. Yes. So I just wanted to be sure that it's not for loan application. No, it's not for loan application. It's for opening okay. FCMB account. Okay, all right. Yes. So do you get the location? Eco CK2. Mention Eco CK2, Lagos, okay? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next right. question is from Master Ola. Madam, is the loan available for Lagos resident alone? Not at all. The loan is not location specific. It is available to individuals and business owners across the country. So across the country, come and take money. Party. <clears throat> Hello? So the next question is from Samson. Can I submit the statement of account of a microfinance bank that I use very well? Yes, this question has been answered. Uh, the next thing is Ilya Sunasi, so good day and welcome to the whole meeting. This is a great thing. Let's move to the next question. Can I collect loan with Smaden certificate from Afro? The room, show you so ideally. Can I the collect the certificate? The CSC, the certificate is the only approved certificate for um, business owners. So, someone cannot use that to access loan. Not, not yet. And also, um, maybe I will just take this feedback to the other members of the team. Um, okay. I think I've heard people talk about Smedam today, so we'll just take it back to the team to discuss. But in the meantime, it's just um, the CAC document that business owners can use to apply for the platform. Okay, thank you. Tim. Let's move to the next question. 
uh, he, is it mandatory to have FCMB? I think this question has been answered. Uh, you can have FCMB account when uh, at the point of disbursement, or you can apply without having FCMB account. So it's not mandatory. The next question is from uh, Ilya Sinasiru. So it, it must be with FCMB bank account. That's for disbursement purpose. Uh, Juliet has been helping us answering the questions. Thank you, Juliet. Uh, the next question is from Abayomi Olukule. I reside in Abikuta. Can I get any agent nearby, nearby Obantoko Abikuta? Yes, we have a, a whole lot of our agents around there. So I, I, I think for people that are requesting to know the agents around them, please send an email to easylife at fcmb.com. I've dropped it in the chat box. Let me drop it again. Uh, so if you need to know agent around your area, just send an email to this mailbox. We are going to provide you with people that can help assist you with, to do anything you want to yeah, so I've dropped it in the chat box. Okay, thank you, Tolu. So I can see Juliet and Awal Musa raising their hands. So let's quickly round up the chat box questions so that we can give them the floor to add one or two things. Thank you. Uh, the next question is from Awal Yunusa. I want all the process to open account in FCMD, but could access the loan because FCMD staff have been frustrating me, refuse to give their full attention. Uh, Sarah, we are, okay, so let me first apologize. We are very sorry for this experience you have. Um, if there are existing issues you would want us to come in to resolve, please, you can also send an email to that uh, mailbox I just dropped in the chat box so that we can have everything resolved. We are always here to support you. You are a customer and you come first. So if you need any uh, resolution whatsoever, please send us an email. We'll try to follow up and assist to resolve. Okay, please, which email is he going to send his inquiry? Sorry, I was muted. Easy life at fcmb.com. I've dropped okay. in the chat. In you, sir. Uh, easy live at fcmb.com has been posted in the chat box. Please kindly forward your complaint or any issue regarding the FCMB account opening. They're always willing to help. Thank you. Uh, the next question is from Ismail Odubowali. Mm -hmm. What's CSE, please? I think Juliet already responded to that. That's customer service executive, right? Executives, yes. Thank you. Yes. So let's move to the next CSE. person. Mm -hmm. Can I get help with the registration from iPhone? Yes, uh, it is available okay, on Juliet has oh, already Android. answered that. Yes, it's available yeah. on Android, it's available on. Um, yeah, you can also always uh, visit the site, the link that has been yes. posted in the chat box, then you go through the process. The first step is for you to, uh, to visit the link, the second step, register, then you check your phone and then type in the code that was sent to your phone, then you fill the form. I think it's so seamless, so you can do that, thank you. The next question is from Abayumi. Is the loan open to new FCMB customers? Yes. The next question is from Bashir Ahmed. So what is the last amount on individual loan? 500,000. Thank you, Julia. The next question is from Afolurun Shoyusu. How do I register for the loan, please? The link should be shared to the WhatsApp group or Telegram. The link has been shared multiple times. So we have the link. Please check the chat box and just click or copy the link. Thank you. The next question is from today's iPhone. Can we pay some month ahead, like three to four months? So, Lou. 
Yes, you can. That is also available. Thank you. There are Telegram, WhatsApp, contact academic areas. Thank you. How do I join the WhatsApp group, please? Uh, okay, Sanya Fatai. If you are a student, I think you'll be automatically added to the group. So you don't know the cohort you belong to. Is it for first cohort, second cohort, third cohort, or fourth cohort? Because we're already in our fourth cohort. So please kindly, uh, maybe I'll forward. Uh, please, which state are you from, Imrana? Drop it in this chat box, please, so that we can know how to resolve your issue or add you to the group. The next question is. Please, when do you start repayment after when the loan has been approved? Fayinto's iPhone. This question has already been answered. It takes maximum of 30 days for you to start uh, paying back. Thank you. Thank you, Juliet, for the answer. Okay, Sanya Fatai. I am just joining. Please, can someone summarize what has been discussed so far? The recording will be shared to the WhatsApp groups and Telegram groups. So please kindly check back later. Uh, the next question is from Ismail Odubwali. I have CAC, but I do not have bank, bank account for it yet. Do I apply as individual or corporate? Apply as an individual. Your question has been answered. Ismail, okay, thank you. Okay. So I think we have come to the end of our questions and answers session. No, we have another question. Please resend the link so I can apply. Secondly, the 9%, is it the repayment rate for any amount applied? No, thank you. Yes, yes. 9% is fixed for any amount applied. 9% per annum for any amount applied. I've also dropped the, the link in the chat box. Let me drop that again. Thank you. That is coming in. Thank you. We're also, we also going to drop the link in your, uh, in your WhatsApp groups and Telegram groups. Uh, so I think that's the end of our questions for today. Thank you very much to you for this wonderful presentation and thank you for having our time. But I can see Juliet raising hands. Maybe we give her one, two minutes, one minute maximum. Juliet, over to you, please. Do you have something for us? Yeah, mm. Juliet. Juliet, do you have something for us? Why did I send you my number? Juliet, if you're not here, can we have someone among the students students to appreciate Sulu and Tafta for this wonderful session. Just a vote of thanks from the participants. Hello? Yes, we can hear you, please. Um, actually, my name is Yaqub Musa Balarabi. Um, I'm just calling from, oh, I'm speaking from Kano. Okay. Actually, we are really grateful for this opportunity because it is a big opportunity to us that can change our life forever, not even us, for our family self. Yes. Because, um, for example, like me, I have studied in TEPTA when I studied a study sound design, and still I have the knowledge of building, let's say the knowledge of doing, making soft and detergent. So I want to make that sound design as a profession or that um, production of soap and something and detailing as a profession let's say it's something that will make me to have lively means of living means of living but i don't have the capital to initiate the this in the business so with this uh, session i get to understand that yes there is a big hope for me and for my family in the future so thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity thank you very much Septa for the training and everything you have been doing to us in order to have good life. And also thanks for the FCMB management for also assisting us and making it easier for us to assess the loan. We are grateful. Thank you very much, Yakub Musa, and everyone for the participation. Our door is always open. Whenever you need our assistance, you can always visit our learning centers, which are, uh, are located at Saadat Terimi College of Education Student Center. 
And the other center is at Kano State Polytechnic. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you to Lou, we are really grateful. Thank you. Th thank you, Tafta. Thank you everyone for having me. I'm thank hoping so to much, receive so my own request. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. We're grateful. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Have a great bye. weekend, Diane. Okay, bye. Thank you, Tafta. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye.